my brain munchers. Oop, let me turn on the radio. We are here at the thrift store at the Goodwill, actually, because I'm going to do a little bit of shopping um, for the house, as usual. So, you guys, we're going to pick up some goodies. Damage. I got two big old bags. A couple of Christmas things that they had brand new that I will be decorating with. I was in there for so long, I feel like I aged. And I love their stores because like, you can find all kinds of crazy stuff that you didn't know you needed, aka wanted, but you say you needed so that you can just start buying it. Off to the next one, Arlene should resell, which is a super awesome one. So let's go. I like to touch things. I don't know why. I have a problem. What is this? I should probably not touch it. I don't know why I want it though. Ugh. Lucy. Hey, Brain Munchers. Okay, it's time for the haul. I was actually going to do this video yesterday whenever we were shopping, and that's where the vlogs came from yesterday. The reason why I ended up not doing them on the same day was because I actually completely forgot that we were doing some data drops, so I didn't have time to do them. So I have everything here. I actually made a couple of stops other than what you saw. I did go to TJ Maxx Home Goods. You guys know I'm addicted. It's a whole thing. But I also ended up stopping at Target, and I think that was it. I'm just going to show you guys all the things I got in order of where I got them. So the first place I'm going to show you is my haul from Goodwill. You guys are actually with me on that, so you might have already seen a couple of things that I already purchased. Also, I hope you don't mind where we're shooting. I'm still trying to get a hang of where I want to do these videos at. I don't know, tell me what you think. Um, I made a little heart thing out of strings, but it didn't come out too pretty, and I actually plan on putting some vines and some flowers around it. I don't know, we'll see what happens. So the first two things I'm gonna show you are not Halloween decor. Can you believe it? Like, for real. Um, and you're gonna be like, what? They're Christmas decor. I saw them and I was like, oh, 
this is gonna inspire me when Christmas comes around. So the first thing is this Joy LED light set. See, I don't even know if you can tell that it turned on, but it definitely turns on. It was brand new in box and it was eight bucks. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Um, so it's regular $14.99 at Kohl's, I believe. Plus I have an idea for this. I actually think I wanna put this on the fireplace mantle. I think it's gonna look really cute, especially with this other thing that I got. This tree! <laughs> this is a mini Christmas tree. It doesn't have lights or anything. It's got these little things. I forget what they're called. I don't know, just these little things. It's got a weighted base with a like gold material stuff wrapped in a little cute bow. And the tree does need to be fixed. Um, it's not broken, but I need to like angle out the the branches properly so that it looks full and beautiful, but it's not Christmas yet, so it's fine. It's just gonna go into storage until Christmas comes around. That tree was, I think, three bucks. So I mean, you know, just something else to add on to the front table by the front door. So when I was walking around, you may have saw in the video that I actually picked this up. This is a very cute little candle holder and it's got hearts and it matches Madison's bedroom perfectly. She has a very girly room and yes, I will be doing a reveal video on her room it is gorgeous beautiful super girly everything she wanted and if you're a girly girl at heart then i think you probably will love it as well and so this is going to go in perfectly i really love candles um but ever since i had i've had kids my my two kids i don't really like candles that light up <laughs> just because they're a hazard plus we have a cat who is kind of a butthead sometimes so I love battery operated candles. I think they're so cool. And you can get them for super cheap at Ross and at uh, TJ Maxx. So I'm definitely gonna pop one of those bad boys in here so she can have it beautiful. There's even some that flicker and I think that's super cool. And of course I did spot some Halloween decor and I think you actually saw it in the video. This is a set of four candle holders and they have various Halloween detail on them like skeletons um a cat death oh. um one of them has like a haunted house on it and bats and one says happy halloween they might all say that i don't know but oh my gosh these are so cute i don't know if you ever go to goodwill but usually by the front cash register or registers they have um rows and setups with brand new items on them so when i was walking by i saw a couple of things that i could use for decorating so i picked them up because they were like a dollar and that's awesome i found these two creepy cloth rolls and you can use them to like make stuff look spooky and um, i'm totally going to use these on my fireplace and you will see because my next decorate with me video i'm actually going to show you the before and after of me decorating the fireplace and the front, uh, the, the, the table by the front door. I don't know what it's called. A hallway table. Yes. Hallway table. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys me decorating the hallway table. I like how I'm talking with these. I also got this. It's just ribbon. I actually have two um, autumn flower arrangements that I did. Super easy. No hot glue. Nothing crazy needed. And I think they came out pretty awesome. So I'm gonna do a very small DIY, and I don't even know if it's considered a DIY because I pretty much just took things, purchased them at the store, threw them together, and they came out cute, in my opinion. But I'm gonna wrap this around the vases that I already had, so um, I will be doing a very small video on that. And the last thing that I picked up was, of course, some spider web, some fake spider web with the spiders in there. This is also going to be used um, in the fireplace, on the fireplace, and you will see how. The second place I went was the Arlington Resale, and I actually took you guys along with me and I looked at a ton of stuff, but I didn't actually see too many things that I really wanted. They hadn't really put out their Halloween stuff yet, which they will next month, so obviously we'll be doing another video. But I did find one thing that I really wanted as soon as I saw it, but I didn't know why. I knew I wanted to use it for decor reasons, but I didn't know what I wanted to actually do with it. So I put a picture of it up on Facebook and people gave me tons of ideas. And I think the one that I'm going to roll with right now is I'm going to use it to store Madison's bows and hair things. Look at this, it is so pretty. It's, I know it probably has a proper name, but I don't know it, so it's a glass thing. 
Mm -hmm. It was five bucks and it, it's, um, it's beautiful. It's really gorgeous. I'm going to be putting her headbands, bows, hair ties, all that stuff in there. And it's going to look so gorgeous in her room with the way it already looks. I mean, fit for a princess. So this works perfect. So the next place I went to, which you guys already know probably, is TJ Maxx Home Goods. Um, I actually picked up uh, three things but they are my favorite things out of the stuff I purchased, of course, because they're from Home Goods. The first thing is going to be the centerpiece of my hallway table for my whole Halloween decor, and it is this gorgeous wicker pumpkin. It's so pretty, and it's actually, it has lights on the inside so you can light it up, and it looks so cute, really gorgeous especially in a low lit or dark hallway it just looks really nice and also i didn't know this until after but it was actually featured on their app the goods which i totally have if you don't have the goods app and you like to shop at home goods definitely download because you can pick the stores that are nearest to you and they will upload pictures on a i think daily basis of the new stuff that they get in really all it does is help you spend more money so maybe you don't want to get it I didn't know that this was on there until after I got it, and I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> this was, um, I believe that this was $15, but it's it's actually kind of large. Well, I guess it would be medium size, and it's, it's just so well made and so pretty. The second thing I purchased was battery tea lights. I told you guys I love battery-operated fake tea uh, candles. I just think they're the best, especially if you have kids or pets that'll knock them over. My kids are old enough to know not to touch the candles, but that doesn't mean an accident can't happen. Plus, because I love the smell of candles so much, a year ago, Zubby bought me a wax warmer, and I am obsessed with how amazing wax warmers are. If you love candles, but you're afraid to light them because of your kids or your pets, definitely get yourself a wax warmer. You can put it up high, and you don't really have to worry about it. Um, they can get hot because there is a light bulb in there, if you get an electric one, there's a light bulb in there that'll keep it warm. So definitely keep that up high or somewhere away from your kids. It lets off a very strong aroma from the wax cubes that you buy. By the way, the little packs are like $3 at Walmart and they smell amazing and like a billion different smells. So if you like candles but you don't like having to light them, get yourself a wax warmer and buy some of these. <laughs> They even have these that come in scented in different colors. And if you go to TJ Maxx Home Goods, you'll find out that they have ones that change colors. I feel like this is a Home Goods commercial. I should probably be working for Home Goods. Maybe that's something I can do. My last item from TJ Maxx Home Goods is my favorite item out of everything. Um, and you're probably going to see immediately why. It's very me. Him! He's gonna be Skelebones Jr. You don't know who the first Skelebones is, but he was a skeleton that we had for decoration at the old house. The kids never wanted to take him down so much that we actually ended up putting a Santa Claus hat on him because, well, he stayed that long. But this is Skelebones Jr. I cannot tell you what he's made out of because I don't know, but this is from Moonlight Manor and this one was also $15. He holds a candle on his head and I'm going to be putting one of those battery operated candles. This is him. He is rather large. I haven't decided if he's going to go in the front hallway or if he's going in the fireplace. We'll see. So over here where I am, there is a Tuesday morning right by the Home Goods. So I decided to stop in and just take a little look because they have really cute stuff out for Halloween and even Christmas. And they were having a little sell on a couple of things, so I wanted to check them out. And I ended up finding something that I actually really needed. This is a jewelry organizer and I got it for $10 and it holds your necklaces, blah, blah, blah. it holds your necklaces, bracelets, rings, and it has a catch-all for your earrings. If you're like me, you lose your earring backings all the time, so throwing them here really helps. I used to have a really gorgeous jewelry box, but I gave it away because I didn't really need it at that time anymore. I was actually storing my jewelry in a different way. But um, now that we've moved here, I kind of have a section where I put my perfumes and my jewelry. And so I really needed this. So this is going to help out a lot. So my last items are going to be from Target. I actually walked into Target not looking to buy anything home decor or Halloween related. Man, I can't talk today. <laughs> I was walking past the front. And as you know, usually for the seasonal items, they'll throw a lot of them out by the front door. And I saw a couple, I saw three particular items that I wanted as soon as I saw them. And to make it even better, these three items are $3 each. 
Usually by the front, you'll find a collection of things that are super cheap, ranging from like 50 cents up to like $10. And they're usually really cute and they change with the seasons, like I said. The first one is super cute. It's a concrete tombstone, and I know you're like, a tombstone's not cute, but to me it is. This is a, tom a, a, bloop, bloop, a concrete tombstone, and it says RIP on it. And this one, well, like I said, was $3. A cute little marbled pumpkin. By the way, this is kind of heavy, so this will work for holding up something else. This, it's not super light, but it's not heavy. It's hollowed. It's really cute, and it's got a white stem, very nice. Again, something to just throw into your other decor. You can even throw this on your table if you wanted to. And the last item is a dead tree. I know, what's up with all the mini trees? I don't know, I like them. This one is a glittered, what is this? A black glitter tree. <laughs> and it's got a weighted base with a black burlap bag thing and a rope that holds it together and it's super cute. You could also get some of these lights back here, by the way, from Target for $3 and wrap them in here. That's actually a really good idea. I think I'll do that. But, um, and it will look really cute. They also had some Halloween ornaments. When did ornaments become a part of Halloween? I don't know. You can put them on here and they would look really cute. Um, I think I'm gonna put some spiders and some spider web on here. I think it's gonna look really cool. So yeah, that's that. So guys, that's it for my haul. Um, lots of Halloween stuff, obviously. A couple of Christmas things and one or two regular normal decor things. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me, seeing the cool stuff we got. And I hope you can't wait to see the decorate with me video where I show you the before and the after of me decorating the fireplace and the front hallway table. If you would like for me to add in a video of me decorating it, like showing you guys my process. Honestly, there's nothing special. I just sort of throw things together and go, yay, it looks nice. <laughs> but if you guys want to watch that, please tell me in the comments below so that I can make sure that I record that and add it into the video. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single view I get. You guys are awesome. Please don't forget to like. And if you're not already a Brain Muncher, you know the drill. Hit that subscribe button so we can hang out some more. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you later, Brain Munchers.